Hi everybody, welcome to my video about producing a colour image on Affinity Photo from three monochrome images taken with a red, green and blue filter for astronomy purposes. So here's Affinity Photo, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to import three images taken through three different filters and I'm going to go to File, New Stack and then I'm going to click add and go into a folder and I've got three images taken by the National Schools Telescope and you can see the three images there green red and blue and click OK and they're now added into Affinity Photo as a stack and if you go into the layers option here and you can see click on the little triangle and you can see they're in a live stack group blue red and green now we're going to work on each one individually so what we're going to do we're going to take them out of that group so click right on that uh, live stack group and then click ungroup and that gets rid of them out of a group and that there is discrete layers in our image and now we can start working on the image to get the color information out of that properly so the first way we do that is to select the top layer and we'll change that type of layer to a lighten layer select the second layer and change that to lighten as well and the last layer right at the bottom we're going to leave as normal okay so top one lighten middle one lighten bottom one normal and it doesn't matter which order those three are the blue red and green they can all be the other way around as long as they're the same and you know which one's which it's fine and you can adjust accordingly later okay so we've got a monochrome image nothing's really changed so if we go up to document just make sure going to convert file forward slash icc profile and it should be an rgb image in this case these are 8-bit images so it's given us an rgb8 if it's not an rgb like gray or something like that then you need to make sure that you change your image to suit so it is an rgb image otherwise what you follow now isn't going to work but i have an rgb8 so i don't need to change it so i'm going to click cancel at this stage okay so now we're ready to get the color showing from these images Okay, so I'm going to start with the first one, the blue, and I'm going to go recolor. Now, what I need to do, we've, that's when I press that, that's take took this recolor tool up to use, but it's going to affect everything below it. So, what I want to do, I want to make sure it's only going to work on that blue image. So, if I drag it, so there's that blue line at the bottom of that blue image. And then that becomes part of that image and you can see it's nestled below and the image is turned red okay so something's happening of course this is the blue layer so we don't want it red so what we need to do we need to move this up towards the blue and it's like a duck egg blue but we really don't want it as strong as that 100 percent is way too strong i find you need to bring that down to about 50 percent to get a decent color out of it otherwise it's far too strong and then just click the cross okay there we go so that's now given us a blue color let's extract the blue information out of the image go to red select recolor again and again drag that adjustment layer so it's part of the red layer so it's a sub of the red layer so it's only affecting that particular layer and then this is already on red so we're just going to put this down to 50 percent the same as the other one click cross select the next one recolor again drag the adjustment layer so it's part of that green layer and then adjust this into green take this down to 50 percent and there you go there's our color image of m51 taken from three monochrome images to produce a lovely color image Hope that's been useful. If you have, please subscribe to my channel and uh, see you online soon. Thank you. Bye.